I want you to think not of LaGrange right now and not of the time that we're living in, but think of the forethought. Think of the brilliance that those people had in New York City, in Manhattan, to set aside Central Park. When you go into Manhattan and you realize the size and beauty of Central Park in the middle of the most expensive real estate in the country, and that that is open space that everyone in the city can enjoy, you can see what vision really is. Now you can say, but yeah, that's, that's New York City. I mean, that's, that's a different type of situation than we have here. You look around and what you see mostly is open space. Why should we be concerned now? Well, as a, as a kid, we used to vacation in the little hamlet of Wading River on the north shore of Long Island, 73 miles from New York City. And when my father would drive out in the 1950s and we would be in the car, if there was another car behind us, he would say, that person is lost. There was nothing out on Long Island. There was nothing at all. Matter of fact, Long Island had the largest production of potatoes per square foot of farmland than anywhere in the country. And what you saw was potato farm after potato farm after potato farm. Today, you see one car behind the other behind the other. They built a 73 mile long parking lot, which is often referred to as the Long Island Expressway, but there are no more potato farms. There's almost no farms at all. There is no open space unless you think of the parking lot next to a strip mall. That's the open space that Long Island has now. And it's full of the same kind of cars that line up on the Long Island Expressway. Now, that was less than 60 years ago. The pressure of population keeps moving out of the city. What we see today in LaGrange is what we want to see. But if we don't prepare for the future now, that future is going to be Long Island. We don't want Long Island. That's why I didn't move to Long Island. That's why I moved to the beautiful Hudson Valley. But I am telling you, now is the time to make sure that LaGrange stays LaGrange. And when you look out, you can see trees and you can see fields. A couple of goats. I know they're all voting for me, so I wanted to point to them. But, but now, uh, again, the plan that uh, LaGrange is putting forward is one that you should be proud of to lead the way while the time is, is, is so important to do it. Because when, when the prices of real estate start going back, and they will, and if people lose interest in the farms that their families have had, those farms, just like Long Island, will become subdivisions. And then LaGrange will be gone. So now again is the time to think about the future. And I think your government in LaGrange uh, has done, John Wagner and everyone else has done an incredible job. Seize this opportunity and make sure it doesn't pass you by. Thank you.